Hey guys, if you never know, Floor 4 has been released for a few days now and introduced a new magic weapon called the Spirit Scepter. So I want to compare it to Bonzo and also give my thoughts on it now that I've been using it for a few days. Kind of let you guys know, hey, what is better? Before we do, just put this out there, we're here less than 1900 subs away from YouTube rank. If you guys want to help support the channel, get us the red name before the end of August, that would be amazing. So maybe think about subscribing below. We're going for daily streams and an upload or so every other day. But back to the video. So what is better, Spirit Scepter or Bonzo? Well, I think you guys already know the answer. If you've been paying attention to the stats on the weapons, you will already notice that the Spirit Scepter stats are much higher. However, there is one problem with it, the mana cost. That is really, really big. If you guys don't know, in the current update, they changed mana regen in the dungeon. So you gain a lot less mana back, and to gain mana back, you have to left click. So what that means is you have to start spam right and left click. But right now, you barely gain enough mana back to keep using this ability, where I sit around about, you know, five, six, seven K mana. So I only get about 75 mana back at most from one, like one hit. With Bonzo, it only takes 50 mana, so you'd be able to perma spam it no matter what, without losing any mana, so you can use your other items as well. Because I run into a lot of issues where I can't use any of my other tools, which creates a lot of problems. But let's just do a little quick damage test so you guys know about how good it is. Also, the effect. So here is the Spirit Scepter. As you can see, it's about 36k almost. It has a really big explosive range as well. This is about as good as the Yeti, which is very, very good. It's much more AoE than Bonzo and much more damage. Also, it's kind of cool because, you know, you can send the bat up in the air and, you know, you can maneuver him around and stuff because it's called a guided bat after all. So, Bonzo is going to do quite a bit less damage. So, we do it 14k. So, that's about two and a, like, half times worse, which is kind of unfortunate. I still think the Bonzo staff has some use. Now, it's not the best magic weapon anymore, I know. But, talking from affordability, it is very good. But if we go ahead over to the age and look at pricing, like the price difference will be pretty big. So let's go look up Bonzo because people are probably selling them as well because like it's not the best anymore. So let's see, like lowest price. So you can pick up, you know, normal Bonzo staff for three mil, like a max one or not even a max one, like a five star one for like four mil. Well, let's just say you can get like a really good one for like five mil maybe. It's like already fully enchanted. That's awesome. But when you go look at something like, you know, for the Spirit Scepter, its price is a lot different. Look at the highest price, or let's see, highest price. So yeah, the lowest one is 35 mil, so that's a 7 times price increase for only about a 2.5 times damage increase. So for most players that don't have the coins, like, they're not going to be able to get this, but if you can stay up and get it awesome, you are, can still use Bonzo, right? Like... Just because it's not the best thing anymore doesn't mean you can't use it. Like, I was still using it. There's other options as well. But, of course, over time, you know, it's going to be replaced. It's nice to know that going forward, they're going to add in new items like this that will replace previous ones and be a little more balanced. Like, it, I know it doesn't seem balanced because the AoE on it is so massive, which is what I was surprised for. If you guys a comparison, let's take with the Yeti Sword. And look at like the AoEs. Here's Yeti Sword AoE, right? That is pretty fat. Look at this. It's literally about the same. Like I need to tell them like hit it so you can see it. So yeah, it's it's about the same radius. The like, Yeti might be a little tiny bit bigger than it. But regardless, this one's spammable, which is a big thing that Yeti can't do. So right now, this is definitely the top magic weapon and better than Bonzo. So if you want to, you know, invest into it. Go for it. It is pretty pricey. Medicine already made a video on it, so you know the price on it it spiked. Uh Doctor sent like a picture of the item going for a lot more than what it was. It was like he sold us for 60 mil or something after Menacing uploaded his video. It was pretty crazy. But besides that, yeah, really cool item. It kind of excites me to see what's coming out. There's other new items as well, probably that I'm covering if you guys want to see that. Like the bone boomerang. I'll get into that at some point. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Good luck getting this item. I, by the way, I have not gotten any wings yet in 80 runs. So this thing is pretty hard to get. So I suggest buying it if you're playing Mage. Because it actually makes Mage almost as good as it was before the update. It needs to do less damage, but that's just how it is. Anyway, take care guys. Bye.